Brad Lane with Team Fast Lane at Cross Country Mortgage. Uh, 25% down payment and months of reserves. What are those, you may be asking? Well, those are the two primary differences in mortgage guideline qualifications when looking to purchase an investment property compared to a primary residence. Um, as you may be aware, if you've purchased a primary residence recently, um, sometimes, uh, or all the time, uh, depending on qualification and, and loan type, the minimum down payment for a primary residence is 3 to 5%. Um, not the case with an investment property. 25% uh, of the purchase price is typically pretty standard across the board anywhere that you look at. Um, there are some other options out there that are available, but plan on 25% down payment. That is that is the standard for an investment property. Um, the months of reserves I was just discussing as well or brought up as well. Um, what that is is um, when you're looking to buy a primary residence, a lot of times you're only required to show proof of the funds needed for down payment and these sort of costs that you have to pay that are associated with the transaction. Not the case when looking to purchase an investment property. You have to show extra funds that are available, whether it be, and it's gotta be a liquid account that you could access at any time. So um, whether that be extra funds available in your checking savings account, um, whether that be funds available in an IRA that you would be able to access or a 401k that you would be able to access if there was any sort of emergency, um, those, extra funds are considered months of reserves and you're required to have six months of reserves for each property that you own when you're looking to buy another investment property or your first investment property. So what I mean by that is if you own a primary residence, you're looking to purchase your first investment property, you are going to be required to show that you have excess funds or extra funds after the money you would bring to the closing to cover six months worth of payments on your primary residence and six months worth of payments on your new investment property in order to make sure that you qualify for that loan. That is also pretty standard across the board. That's it for now. Have a great January and we'll talk with you soon.